it looked like a bomb had gone off in the house. There was no amount of preparation for this specific flood that would have saved our home or our belongings. So we, we took it serious and we took all the precautions we could. We took our cars and parked them in uh, a parking garage up high. Uh, I took almost a half a day to uh, get everything off the ground and, and lift it up really high. There was a thin layer of brown sludge covering everything. You could see the demarcation of the grass line um, in the house to see how high the water went, which in some points in the house was 50 inches and other 48 inches, just depending where you were in the house. My neighbor two houses down from me, he said, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go get the boat. There was really no uh, definition as to where we were going. It was more of we're going to get up in the morning and see who needs help and then go from there. It looked like a war zone, right? Every single house was gutted. Every single house. We made it across the creek and the houses, the water was up to the roofs on some of the houses. Just never seen anything like it. So I was here in 2008 when Hurricane Ike came through. And we had a lot of preparation and, and um, action around that. And ever since then, I'm, I have a knee-jerk reaction to hurricanes. So even when we just heard of Harvey, when some people may be just kind of taking it a little easier, my mind tends to go into a different place. When we saw the impact of Harvey and, and how it affected people, we immediately put a lot of programs in place. So closing the office and giving people the latitude to do what they needed to do, that, that's the easiest decision to make. I mean, people have to take care of themselves and their families and what's really important. On into Sunday, we started seeing the water really start to rise in our community and in our neighborhood particularly. And so that's when I think we really knew um, this wasn't a really good situation at all. You know, I went through a number of different hurricanes, but never anything like the flooding associated with Harvey. We uh, had a system of putting soup cans underneath all the furniture to raise them up a little bit just in case we got four inches or five inches of water in the house. Ended up getting 18. We're no stranger to this because two years ago we flooded in the Memorial Day floods of 2015. So we've only been, we weren't back in our house two years and this happened again. Uh, this time it was much worse though. No one should have to go through that. The last group we rescued that night was a elderly couple with their um, grandson, and she, you know, she was between 75 and 80, and she didn't want to leave, but she had two foot of water in her house. At one point on the boat, we had. 12 cats, one dog, a hermit crab, and 10 humans. tried to be very proactive, making sure, first of all, that all of our employees were prepared. That they knew that everything that they should have um, as part of the hurricane guide, have all the essentials that would be needed to them, and that they also knew that our leadership was always available to them should they have anything that they needed but they couldn't get enough of. We coordinated um, shipments from all over the country to be able to come in here to Houston amidst a storm where there's shortages everywhere and we created kind of a, a disaster recovery command center here at, at our Houston office. Things like dehumidifiers and shop vacs and respirator masks and things that they're going to use to get their home back to a livable state and that was one of the one of the immediate first steps that we took as a company to try and get our employees back on their feet again. When I think of water impacts I, I, the numbers probably above 150 of our people had water in their home. 
we handed out supplies uh, that Monday of Labor Day and drove out some dehumidifiers, fans, bleach, supplies. Personally, I had colleagues all across Direct Energy and Centrica for that matter, you know, all across, either calling me, emailing me, texting me, even before the storm and during and certainly after, offering to help in any way possible and that, that just meant so much. I'm just really proud to work for a company that cares so much about its people and its customers and our community. That's what we do, right? I mean, somebody needs help, you just you get up and go. So, uh, 